Ask Reddit by Athena in Lust. What should be taught in us public schools that is not taught currently? Check sus literacy rates and math scores. How about we do basic reading, writing, and arithmetic before taxes, which reading and math handle anyway? Amen. As a veteran HS science teacher, I am appalled at how many kids came to my classes that could barely even read or do simple math. Had a kid once who was stuck on something. To help them along I asked what is 3x7. They said 16, 18, 20, no, 24. How to read, write a coherent sentence, think critically for oneself, and use logic to solve problems. And I'm not kidding. It's really sad what the system turns out. Illiterate kids who have no basic skills and no way to think for themselves. Absolutely concur. I teach second grade currently and so many of them are already so far behind. This is my first year in 10 years of teaching where such young kids are indifferent. Thankfully this is only a few of them out of a class of 26, but I talk about how reading and writing and math is the foundation of what else they'll learn and one of my ones who doesn't even know all his letters or sounds just shrugs at me like okay and it's maddening on so many levels. Media literacy, which also dovetails with critical thinking skills. As others have mentioned, financial literacy budgeting, loans credit cards and AMP. How interest on those is calculated, retirement planning saving. Was fortunate to have my first college class that went over general success for students. Part of it was spotting bias in the media. Holy cow was it eye opening. Home ec skills needs to be required. There are just too many adults that don't know how to do basic adult skills, cooking, cleaning, basic repairs, childcare. It does not take a specific set of genitals to master any of the above either. By 18 years, you should be able to clean a house and make a basic meal of an aim course, a starch, rice, pasta, potatoes yams or bread, and a vegetable on your own. I agree. Home ec should be required for all students. Expand it beyond the traditional cooking and sewing. This is where we could add the needed personal finance, resume writing and interviewing. Taxes sex ed could possibly fall into this category too. Teach car maintenance, basic home repair like plumbing or rewiring an outlet. I know that school curriculum varies a lot between states and even neighboring school districts, but you're la commenting a lot about basic graduation requirements I had to go through in high school. Did no one have to go through an economic civics class to learn things about taxes, finances, career planning? resumes job interviewing etc. Or some basic home ec classes that taught things like cooking, cleaning, sewing, basic home improvement type things? Exactly. My 8 year old knows enough math to do taxes. Financial literacy. I teach financial literacy. Whether it's inks in or not is a different story. How to handle conflict. How to gently say no. How to communicate. Some people really don't get social skills or role models, and that's a real hindrance. Edit, spelling. Given how much is expected of the teachers, and how little is expected of parents, it seems it would be better to just hand the kids over entirely to the government. Seriously, what don't you expect the teachers to do? Civics. That is taught but it's either too early like in my case I learned a lot of civics in elementary and then almost nothing until high school, or it's taught really late. Either way most people don't pay attention in school at any grade level, which is a bigger issue. Can we provide a course on how to protect yourself from scammers, crooks, and other clowns as well as how to do actual research on a topic to get more information instead of reading random s and amp on the internet and assuming it's accurate? The amount of misinformation being pumped across everybody's phones, computers, and tablets is scary. Elementary teacher here. Media literacy. It's not just enough to read. To function in today's world, students need to be able to evaluate where a source is from, 
its potential credibility, and what the organization who published it may want from the reader. With the continued advancement of AI, this is going to become all the more important and challenging, and the implications for these people who are going to become voting citizens is scary. Science education is also leagues behind what the research says is best practice. It doesn't really matter if you exit the school system knowing how photosynthesis works. It does matter that they know how to have an idea, test it, be wrong, and try again. We have a huge need for people to enter the sciences and very little genuine science happening in classrooms. Looking at my country I'd say logic. The smallest amount needed to quickly understand by heart when some statement are built over nothing or when some maths doesn't make sense. This thread is full of things that shouldn't be taught by schools. Teachers are now tasked with teaching things like morality and amp, worldview, to the detriment of teaching things like reading and math. The more we expect schools to cover, in place of parents families communities doing their duty, the less effective they will be at teaching any of it. I'm glad you said it. Schools cannot be the social band-aid people want them to be. Budgeting. Cooking. Time management. Factual history. Actual sex education. Do they still teach typing? My zillennial friends co-workers were amazed by how fast I typed and wish they were as quick. I asked didn't you do Mavis Beacon teaches typing? And they looked at me blankly. I only graduated HS 13 years ago. But apparently computer classes don't really teach it, if they take a computer class at all. Critical thinking, especially as it pertains to online information and political statements. Civics. Kids have no clue how the government works. Sandra Day O'Connor lobbied to have civics mandatory in all public schools. It doesn't matter if the kids aren't paying attention because they're looking at their phones and their parents yell at the staff whenever the kid gets disciplined. Civics and political science and political philosophy I would love to stop dealing with people who have no clue how our political system works, no idea on what's actually in the constitution, and even worse just seem apathetic to it. It's explicitly taught people just don't listen. My entire knowledge of WW1 from school was that Franz Ferdinand got shot and it was a powder keg of tensions already. That's all. Multiple grades never went beyond the term powder keg. I don't even know what a powder keg is. I gather it's some sort of old bomb or something based on context clues but the entire school system just skipped over a massive, world changing war. How to properly debate and knowing what logical fallacies are. I'm starting to see younger people be essentially proud of blocking people on social media as soon as they disagree with them. If people can't handle opposition to their argument, compromise and working together with people with different ideals is over. Traits Yet Votech needs to be just as glamorous as college, because without a plumber, electrician, telecom or HVAC tech, some bankers or football stars huge house is going to be a very boring and uncomfortable place. Japanese internment is treated as a side note in American WWII politics but if it happened in any other country it would be considered a crime against humanity. Have you been to any other country? Germany gives the Holocaust full mention in its history books. I don't know of any country besides Germany that puts as much emphasis on its historical sins as the USA. Canada doesn't teach about how they mistreated the indigenous. Spain doesn't teach about how they pillaged, massacred and desecrated the new world. Japan doesn't mention the brutality of what they did in WWII. And Japanese internment doesn't rank even among the top 50 crimes against humanity over the last 100 years. Any US history that extends beyond the 1960s. How to tell when a piece of media, anything from a statement or product packaging to an entire book series or organization, is lying, what it's trying to make you think or feel, and why it's pushing that particular line. <laughs>